Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, hope you guys are having an awesome day so far And in today's first video, we're going to be checking out Radiator Springs Now that is like literally exactly the Radiator Springs you guys are thinking of It's from the Cars films And they've really done an incredible job with bringing this like into American Truck Simulator and making it believable And it really does look like the town from the movie Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoa, that was, that was weird Um... Let's see if I can radiator underscore springs. It will. Oh my God. It will not do that. So um, I'm going to go to the map and see what the nearest place is that I can fast travel to. It would be Kingman. Okay. So we'll fast travel there and then I'll use that to fly around. Um, I'll use that to fly around so you guys can see what it actually looks like from above. Now, if you start down here in Kingman, you would basically go down, um, well, tech route 66, and eventually, if I can get the camera to work right, you'll, f you'll kind of come up on a little bit of a, little bit of a junction, which going left doesn't really go anywhere, going right takes you towards Radiator Springs, and you'll see the famous rock and the, and the mountains and everything, and then once you get a little bit closer in, you see the Welcome to Radiator Springs, and the sheriff is hiding behind it as, as he would, and um, you see, like, the motel with the cones, you see everything from the movie, and there's all sorts of, like, you even see Mater's tow yard, and I don't know why there's a, well, actually, I take that back, I, I take that back, I was, for a second, I was like, I don't know why this random cop car is there, but never mind, if you've seen the movies, you'll know why he's there, um, there's, actually, you can pick up jobs from here, from Mater's uh, scrap yard, it's really just these, um, just these metal tubes, and that's about, that's about it, and then there's an actual scrap yard back here in the back, over here, I'm actually not sure what's going on with this massive, like, open parking lot, but these, um, these dirt roads kind of lead to, kind of lead to the back area of the, uh, of the town, but the main thing that they lead to is the racetrack, and the racetrack I have not been on yet, and I am going to be doing some, oh, by the way, here's the cliff that lightning flew off of, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a some videos with the actual, like, with the, you know, the full truck and trailer max setup actually driving into Radiator Springs, but before I did anything like that, I wanted to show you guys, give you guys an overview of actually what the map looked like without kind of doing anything, um, anything like, you know, themed or anything like that, so, so at this point, we're gonna drive over to, we're gonna drive over to the racetrack, and we're gonna see what happens when you put, like, a full-on, you know, normal, semi truck out on the radiator springs racetrack just to see what what it would do it's probably going to incur a bunch of damage if i had to guess what is that that's some sort of i mean it's some sort of road like road machine i mean oh there's luigi's tire shop too there's so many cool things here that you that you'll recognize from the movies you'll go like oh i remember that i remember that i remember that there's only a yield sign. I mean, I'm going to yield minorly, but not too much. <laughs> we'll probably get a fair bit of damage from doing this, but I don't think I I don't think I care. I don't think I whoa! I don't think I care that I'm going to get damage from it because I think it's still going to be a blast. You know, even though we are going to get damage, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it to do laps around that racetrack. Oh my god. And just being out here is cool too. It, it it's just cool being out here. You feel like you're you feel like you're in the movie, and you feel like you're you're reliving something that like if you're like me and we're you know we're really young when the first Cars movie came out. It's one of those things that just to drive around this area, even in a game, you know, is so it's so fun. It's so cool. So let's go back to that exterior view because we're really rolling now. There's really no speed limit out here, and we're gonna have to do a little bit of four wheeling or well. Uh, I guess I should say, what is that? Ten wheeling to get to the, uh, <laughs> to get to the racetrack. Surprised we didn't take damage just from rolling off the road. Come on! Let's go back to interior cam. Go, 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 go. That's 18th gear. Come on, stay in it! Let's see if I can take this corner at full throttle. Oh, I had to let off. Woo! Woo, okay. That's iffy. That's really iffy. Oh, keep the steering wheel cranked left. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. And brakes. Oh, God. 
I didn't want to pull a lightning and, and drive off the edge. That was not in my plans. So I was like, I was slamming on the brakes to try to get... Oh, God, that reminds me of that old Cadillac commercial when they were announcing the ATS and it had Brembo brakes. They were like, oh, slamming on the Brembo brakes. And I'm like, yes, we get it. You have Brembo brakes. You can get a Brembo big brake kit for just about everything. Come on! Dude, I'm getting the line down now. Or, well, sort of, because I'm over to the left a little bit, but... That was 80 miles an hour through there. That was pretty damn good. Brakes. Oh. Oh, 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 come on. <laughs> it was almost bad. I don't want to pull a lightning and drive off the edge. God, okay. Now I kind of do want to do it with a trailer. I feel like it'd be hilarious with a trailer. Let's get it turned in. Oh, let's run high on the banking. That's 1% damage. Oh, how high on the banking can we run? Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh! Told y'all that was gonna hurt. Damn. Yeah, okay. Um, hopefully we don't have engine issues after that. <laughs> oh my god. What happens if you run all the way up to, like, the top? That's- Oh no! We pulled the lightning! Oh god. We've pulled the lightning. That's not good. Um, let's see. Visit service station immediately, please. So, at this point, there's very little of Radiator Springs that we haven't actually explored yet, but we're going to explore the rest of it real quick. We'll drive through it and just see what all's here. And then there's also, by the way, there's also the mountain road that I really want to, like, so you remember the mountain road from the movies that, like, you know, lightning and, um... Oh, God, I wish I could remember the name of the Porsche right now. But I... God, I wish I could remember the name of the freaking Porsche right now. You know, like, basically... Basically, the girl that Lightning w that Lightning ended up, you know, having a huge crush on for the entire first movie, and they made it all intentionally awkward. But um, Ru Route 66 continues to... Oh, here's the field where Mater goes to tip tractors. Yeah, that's... Th Whoa! There's a Nick. It's, it's fine. It's a Nick. Don't worry about it. Woo! The game is also running just a little bit slow at the moment because I can tell it's trying to, uh... It's trying to load everything. Oh, it's, it's good now. It was trying to load everything for a bit and it was, like, freaking out, but... Yeah, this is cool, though, because it's, like, all of these other roads that you don't normally get to see... Beautiful brakes. I forgot that I had the realistic, um, like trucking companies, DL, uh, not DLC, but, like, um, mod enabled, and so I'm seeing this, like, I'm, oh, boy, high, oh, 65%, damn, truck seems to be running fine, I mean, we'll still go back to, what's with this random mud, yes, I get it, more damage, I just want to see the map, I just want to drive the roads and see the map, back to one, Oh, God! Or interior cam. I don't know why I say one. I say one probably because it's like... It's weird, though. It's interesting how he put these, like... Like, puddles of water here. I mean, or... I guess mud, water, dirt. Just to try to make it more believable, like, movie-wise. Oh, God! I've lost the gearbox. Anything past 15th gear. I don't... Uh-oh. Like, anything past 15th gear, I don't have a gearbox anymore. Boy! To be fair, that was all my fault because I was in the wrong lane. <laughs> I can't blame that on anybody. Woo! Although I will say for like a 70% damage truck, we're actually not stalling out as much as I thought we would. Dude, I remember this! You rem like, you'll remember all of these little landmarks from the film and you'll go like... You'll freak out because you're like, there's no way he, he put all of this back in here. But they did. They genuinely did. Where is the... Ah! I have no steering for that. I mean, I have steering, but I came in way too fast. Come on, freaking slow steering. Slow steering for days. I don't know where that rest stop is because I didn't see it. Like, I didn't see anywhere to drive into it either. So I'm not sure where it is in accordance with the rest of this, uh, with the rest of, like, the road and stuff. But there should be another one coming up. And I'm hoping that that's, like, that old abandoned, like, um, oh gosh, what was it? An abandoned hotel, I think? From the movie? 
dude, this is the bridge and the waterfall. Oh my god. Dude, look at that freaking canyon. Oh my god, this is so cool. And I know I keep going on and on about it, but... Oh, you probably... You know what? I bet you, you get to it via that little road right there. Man. I know I just keep freaking out, but there's so much cool stuff to... There's so much cool stuff to freak out about, man. There's so much cool stuff. And, and again, it's like, you know, geeking out a little bit, but... And I'm probably gonna blow my engine, but... I, that, that By the way, we just passed the road to get to those rest stops, but I'm probably gonna blow my engine because of the fact that I'm just redlining the crap out of it, and I have nothing higher than 15th gear, but I, I honestly right now don't care because I'm not on a job, and I just want to see this map, and I'm having, like, I'm having such a good time exploring this new area and exploring this map because I'm genuinely excited to see what all he put here that I don't actually care if my truck blows up. <laughs> God, what's coming up around the next corner? That's always like... Oh, it's long, too. It's a big hairpin. And as long as you give the truck time to turn, then it's fine. I mean, it actually handles quite well for what it is. God, that canyon is just massive. Just absolutely massive canyon. Wow. I need to find... Wow, he's holding that bus up! Damn, he needs to move! <laughs> he needs to move for that freaking bus! Use a pull-off, bro! Bro, why don't you use freaking pull-offs? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, crap, we did blow our engine. Oh, my God, we did actually blow the engine. There it goes. It roared to life again. But man, if it was that hard to get back started, it's not going to last very long. Oh, we almost drove off that edge. <laughs> oh, man. It's now a game of like, what goes f Oh, God. It's like, what, ha what happens first? The truck over the edge or the engine getting blown? Oh, my God. We no, 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 no. No! I am not letting you get in front of me. Not letting you get in front of me, bus. This is not what I signed up for. Apparently, apparently, canyon road handling is not what this Freightliner signed up for. Oh, I hate crossing double yellows. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, no. Back. Ah, the engine's gone again. Come on. Woo. Go. Start back up. Oh, start back up. Please. Please, please, oh, for God's sake, start. Ah! Go, 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 go! What are you doing? No. No! <laughs> oh, damn. She's done, boys. She's done. I mean, we've seen the majority of Radiator Springs, but man, she's done. And, um,. We're about to roll, and uh, that bus, I guess, is going to hold us. But if you all enjoyed this first look at Radiator Springs in American Truck Simulator, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. We'll do some really fun challenges, some cars-themed challenges next time. And I will talk to you all next time.